Hi guys. So today let's see what are all those seven commands so every C or C++ programmer should know. So these are all the seven commands which should be in a handy for you whenever you are writing the C or C++ program. So let's begin. So here, here you can see I have created three files. One is main.cpp, person.h and person.cpp. So first one is a person.main. So here you can see I have a small function print in main. So it is simply printing I'm inside main. And also I created some um, memory like uh, I created an integer pointer and allocated a memory in a heap and I'm deleting it here. So I'll come to this one later like why I'm doing this one and I'm calling the function print. And also I created a, a instance person b and all those things I have created here. Here this is the header file where the person is a constructor, constructor and it is having three functions get name, update name and print name. And also all the definitions I have created here. So now let's compile this one and see what are all those comments. So for that one, what exactly I'm doing is I'm creating this person as a library, as a shared library. Then I'm going to link this one with a main. So let's see. So ls. So here you can see there are four four files. So forget about this readme file. So let me first compile person dot cpp. So for that one, I'm creating a shared library. Okay, shared person.cpp and output should be lib person.so so now here you can see lib person.so is created now let me link main.cpp with l person so here it is telling it is complaining no such files are directed because i have to give a library path for that one i have to give i and l and dot means the current director so now here you can see a.o is getting created and the library is getting created. So let me try to execute this one. So a.o. So here you can see I am in main. So while setting the name I put a Bavit. So that's why the name of the person is Bavit. And updated name is David and name of the person is David. So this is not our condition. So next thing like uh, I'm going to explain what are the seven comments we have to know. And the first comment is file command. So what file command does it? So, so let me execute and see. So a.o. So here you can see this file command will give some information about what is the executable name, what is the uh, executable type, the header which is present in this file. Here you can see a dot out is an ELF, that means it is an executable linkable format and it is uh, compiled for 64-bit 60, operating systems so, and it is an x86 architecture and version and it is dynamically linked and interpreted loader everything is uh, giving something and also you can see here so there is a SHA code which is getting generated automatically so these are all the uh, information that is the header information which shows using this file so this is one of the comments so let me try to execute for uh, let's say main.cpp so here you can see it is telling it's a c source so and it is a ascii character so it is of uh, ascii text so even though it is a C++, so it is telling like uh, even C or C++, it shows as a C source code. So let me try to execute the file command with the library. So here you can see this is also executable and linkable format. And here you can see it is a shared object. So here you can see earlier it was an executable. So now here it is telling it is a shared object. So this is the first command every programmer should know like uh, to analyze like what is our type of a file. So even before like without even uh, opening the file you could able to tell about this one. So then let's move on to the next command. So the next command is LDD. So what this LDD command does? So whenever you type LDD here and out. So it will tell like what are all the libraries which is linked to your library, which is linked to your a dot out. That is output. So here you can see I have linked person dot so. So from this command you could able to tell like what are all the library which is linked to your executable. Apart from this one, there are like a lot of uh, system libraries which is been linked to this a dot out as well. So these are all system li related libraries, and this is your library. Sometimes you may get error like uh, uh, you may not find the library. So then you need to fix that. So at that time you can uh, execute LDD command and you can figure out like, okay, this L only person is not available in your uh, directory or some LD library path is not set. So then this LDD command comes in handy for you. So this is the second command. And uh, next command is a GDP with DUI. So everyone knows like how to uh, build a, how to, what you say, debug the program. So that is like GDB. So GDB, if you do a dot out, 
so it will simply um, run your uh, program with the gdp and here you can see like i'm inside main and all those things so even you can give a breakpoint with the break, uh, b at the main and again you can run so and it will uh, break your program wherever you have put a breakpoints so then you can put next for going for the next line or continue it will keep on continuing because i did not put any breakpoint after me so this is not interesting right so there is one interesting thing because like here you cannot see the source code and all those things uh, if you want to get the source code you need to type a command so instead of that one if you don't have any id or something so what you can do is while compiling you are going to cpp and you are giving a link for person and just you give minus g option so minus g like iphone l to give this one so now you can see like whenever i am executing gdp what you have to do is you have to pass a command called dui then you give a dot out a dot out so now if you enter here you can see the entire source code which is coming uh, here and you can scroll through this one so it is like a kind of a small id right so you can put a deeper point break point and all those things so let's say i'll put a break point in line number 16. so let me put on um, uh, let's say print in main something like this so here you can see this uh, so it has put a breakpoint on line number seven somewhere here so let me put one more breakpoint on line number 19 so you can give like this also and here you can see there is a breakpoint of yours here and let me put one more breakpoint on line number 22 so here you can see there is a symbol called a breakpoint so now let's try to execute this one so whenever you try to execute so here you can see first time it has put a breakpoint in inside this function print in main so that is where we are given a breakpoint so now you can execute next and next can you see this arrow here so how it is uh, intuitive how intuitive it should be here so whenever i press next even though you don't need to press next simply if you enter here so it will keep on jumping to the next line so this is very nice right so this is the one of the comments so you can press q to quit and press s yes. so this is the one of the uh, uh, things which you can use with the gdp so many times it is very difficult to uh, uh, change the source code and come into the gdp and all those things so if you have a ui so then you can use a ui with the gdp and provided you have to pass a minus g so this will enable the all the debug symbol for the gdp to show in your uh, vim uh, or like whatever the terminal you are using and this is about uh, gdp and uh, the next comment like what i'm gonna show you is nm comment so what nm comment does is so whenever you before that one lets me execute ls minus la so let me put it in human readable format ls minus la h so here you can see there is 80 kb of a dot out is present so since i put uh, hyphen g so this is put some more information into our a dot out to check like to print whatever the output line number source code all those things you can you could able to see in uh, gdp right so that's why it has increased this size of this binary so let me again uh, recompile this one main.cpp <coughs> l person and hyphen l dot so let me do ls minus l h so now here you can see there is no hyphen g is not it is uh, we did not give an hyphen g so you cannot do ui with this one if you try to give there is no symbol let me do gdp hyphen tui a dot out enter so here you can see you could down table there is no source code available because minus g option we did not supply to the compiler whenever we are compiling so that's why here you can see the uh, the size of this executable a dot out is reduced drastically from 80k to 24k now there is one more thing that is like nm command you can execute nm command a dot out so whenever you do nm a dot out so it will print all the symbols which is present in your a dot out so this is nothing but a symbol table so here you can see everything is mangled so here you can answer so let me grab for some of the function called uh, get name and here you can see it is jumbled up right so the output everything is jumbled up so in order to <coughs> make this demangle you have to pass something called demangle so whenever you do demangle so it will print the exact name what is present in the symbol table so that is the help of this nm command by using this nm command you could be able to print the symbol table of your executable inside this one 
and here you can see this u means it is undefined so it is not defined in your uh, a dot out rather it is defined in your shared library so that is the meaning of u but if you see our source code we have some function called print int main so let me try to grip for that one let me grip for this one here you can see this is t so t means it is present in the text segment of your uh, symbol table so that is the meaning of this t and it is also is present in if this is something else you can forget about this one and this is the function which is present in your uh, a dot out that is the representation of this t u means it is undefined and it is defined because it is not defined in your main dot uh, cpp it is defined somewhere in a library so that's why it has printed u so now the problem with uh, this one right it's not a problem so exactly here you can see it is a 24k because all your debug symbols are present here and uh, this is with this help gdb could able to uh, show you all the breakpoint you can put a breakpoint and all those things because with the help of this uh, symbol table so now there is one more command called strip so let me execute strip a dot out now let me re execute a ls minus lh can you see here so it has reduced so from 24k it has reduced to 19k so whenever you do strip of a dot out it will strip all the symbol table from this executable so to figure out like whether really it has happened so let me execute and then a dot out can you see here there is no symbol table so there is no symbol to show so let me try to do a gdb for this one so gdb and a dot out <coughs> and let me enter so here it's already showing no deb debug symbol found in a dot out so let me run so but it is running but you cannot put a breakpoint or anything so let me try to put a breakpoint in line number 17 or 15 or something like this so let me rerun so here you can see you cannot see any breakpoints or anything like where exactly it is put in so it is not putting in a proper uh, line number so let me go here and see let's whether it will put on line number 12 let me put a breakpoint in line number 12 note breakpoint one also set of this some some other symbol it is setting so let me run so here you can see it is not exactly printing on the same line whatever we are we thought of that is because like here you can see so somewhere it is printed on initial stage so no debug symbol found in it out so that is the use case for strip ls minus lah so what is the help of this trick the help of this trick is like whenever the software is being uh, uh, sent to the customer so it should be stripped off it is similar kind of a release mode and whatever earlier we have done that is for a debug mode so this is the uh, where in a dotnet or on a higher level language what you can see a debug mode and a release mode right so that is what it is so whenever you have a debug uh, symbol enabled so there is nothing but a debug mode and whenever you strip off all the a dot out so uh, that is nothing but a release mode and similarly the nm command can also be executed for your libraries as well so let me grab for get name <clears throat> and here you can see the get name is in uh, mangle format but here you can see the t t has come that means it is present inside this symbol uh, it is present inside this object file that, that is nothing but your shared library so let me do d mangle d mangle so here can you see it is printing the symbol table as well as it is uh, telling it is t and it is present inside this one so now so let me do ls minus lh and here you can see this is 17k so let me strip off this one as well strip of lib person as well ls minus lh now can you see there is like 15k so earlier it was 19k earlier it was 17k now it has stripped off with 15k so now let me try to execute nm command on this one here can you see so it is like uh, there is no symbol table present in this one so now this is the significance of uh, nm command so we had seen file led gdb nm and strip so now there is one more command that is nothing but obj <coughs> obj dump so what does it do so now you have stripped off everything so from your uh, executable so now you want to do something with the you want to see the symbol exactly now for that one what you can do is something called obj dump so obj dump so then you can give your executable name a dot out and you can give f f means it will print what is the file information file header 
so if you simply type obj 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 dump a dot out or like you don't give anything or you don't give any argument so here it is printing what is the help help for the panel either you can do hyphen h so for help to get your help documentation of this obj dump and here you can see hyphen f are given it is a file header it is not the header or a that uh, dot h file it is about the file header that is the header information which is present inside this file so here you can see a dot out which is of a uh, uh, elf format executable and linkable format and it is of 64 bit architecture and here you can see i386 or x86 64 this is a 64 bit arc, uh, architecture and this is about iphone uh, f option and there is like one more option called iphone d Whenever you execute hyphen D option, so it will disassemble all your source code. You could able to see all your uh, uh, assembly code for the executables which you are running. Okay, so this one will print all your uh, assembly code for you. And uh, so yeah, this is all about this one. And here you can see there are like all this name mangling are happening again. So with this option, you can do like a nm you can do a demangle and once you do demangling so here you can see this entire demangling is converted into a exact symbol table what no, a symbol exactly what it is present in the source code and this is what about hyphen d so then next one is hyphen t so this is nothing but a uh, symbol tables which we have seen in nm uh, whenever i do uh, hyphen t like this here you can see there is no symbol table because we are stripped out right so but even then you can see the symbol by using hyphen t so like hyphen t d mangle and this is about uh, capital capital hyphen t not small hyphen t let me grip for get name can you see here so in this a dot out it is telling this symbol is present and it is undefined so let me try to execute in library lib person dot so lib person dot so enter can you see here this is in a text segment so it is present in this symbol so even though if even though you have stripped off here you can see the symbols is present in this library and it is in the text segment the same thing if you try to execute a the data out it is undefined because this is defined in this library and it is undefined and here you have used hyphen capital t and if you try to use multi so then it is similar to your nm comment because you don't have any symbol to show because it is stripped off so that is the meaning of this uh, hyphen capital t and the next one is a balgrind tool so this tool you should uh, know in order to check like what is the <clears throat> is there any memory leakage for all this thing you can do so let me here i have created the pointer so i'm allocating a memory in a heap so then let me comment this one i don't delete this one so this is a memory leakage right so this will become a dangling pointer right so i'm not freeing the memory which has been allocated on a heap so let me try to recompile this one now the command is like a valgrind so this is by default in ubuntu it won't be get installed what you have to do is like sudo apt get install and valgrind in a modern system it's a sudo apt install valgrind so what you have to do is valgrind a dot out you have to give your executable you have to execute your executable once after you execute your executable here you can see there is something called leakage summary and directly at the end of the bottom here you can see the error summary is zero and there is there is no error so from this one we cannot conclude so what you have to see is because this is there is no error running in a valgrind so that is what this is telling and what you have to see is this is the leakage summary this one you have to see and here you can see like uh, heap summary there is a three allocation and two freeze so still i have one one block left definite lost and definitely it is lost like four bytes is lost in a one block so that is what it is telling so straight away you have to see this leak summary so entire detail of like how to use a, a valgrind and all those things i will do a separate video so this is on a higher level like you should know about a valgrind so let me go and fix this one delete pointer so let me try to recompile this one and execute it out can you see here there is no leak summary here so there is a three allocation happen and three freeze happens so totally like uh, 73732 bytes she is allocated so let me comment again and let me recompile and execute
so now you can see there is like this many number of bytes are allocated but you have three allocations but there is only two frees so so still like two deallocation is not done so that is being printed in the leak summary so this is what uh, all about this uh, valgrind and uh, yeah yeah guys so these are all the important tools uh, as a c++ programmer you should know so hope you have enjoyed this video so if you like uh, this video and it is uh, informative please share and subscribe thank you